let me tell you something that as a music teacher, sometimes people, you know, have strange notion about music education. First says, some people have it and some people not. You know, when someone say, eh, but you know what? You are born with music inside. You are talented. That's why. Well, let me tell you that everyone is a musical being. Every person on the planet is a musical being. Every one of you here is a musical being, right? Brain research, hundreds of music teachers around the world, my experiences shows that this is completely wrong. The fact that saying that some people have it, some people not. No, it's wrong. In fact, you are musical in your body. You have breath rhythm, you have heartbeat, you have brain waves, you walk to a rhythm, you speak to a rhythm, you move to the music, right? So everybody has this musical potential and everybody has a musical as an intelligence. The only thing is that you need experience. You need experience with music because music flows across time. It's not something that is there, like a painting. Oh, beautiful painting. I see a beautiful painting. There. No, music flows across time and therefore should be understood as a time-based language. Should I teach you to read notes? Should I teach you how to play a musical instrument? Or should I teach you music? Well, you know, uh, playing musical instrument is just, yes, it's good, but it's a very small part of the whole entire music education. It's like saying uh, when you swim, swimming freestyle right? Swimming freestyle is not all swimming, right? You have diving, you have uh, jumping in the water, you have scuba diving, you have, you have many things. Same in music. Playing musical instrument is just a little part, right? And if you think it, if you think music as a language, right, and um, you are thinking it that you are going to learn it the same way you speak. Try to think of when you were very young, did you start music by opening a book and reading notes? Or you start saying, when, when you start speaking, did you start, oh, I read mama, papa? No, right? You just absorb the sounds from your family, from your surroundings, and then you read and then you write. Same exactly way in music. This organic, natural way of learning happens in music as well. Now, the third notion is when you should start to learn music. And here I hear everything. I hear all the, all the answers possible, imaginable. Let me show you this graph so maybe you understand. Because the answer is when you are in the womb. When a mother is pregnant, the child inside is already learning music. And you can have a look at this graph over here, where here we have the age. You can see months here, even before you are born. Age from one to nine, 10, 11, 12. And over here we have the ears, right? One, two, three, four, five. So if you look at the auditory cortex, so the development of our auditory cortex that we can listen and the prefrontal cortex, our coordination things, it peaks when you are nine months, years old nine months think how how much is important for you when you are very baby like nine months two years old to listen good to me listen good music because at that age you absorb everything nine months well you're not too late then from one to nine years okay those are the one to nine years old those are the best moment to learn if you miss something during those years you might miss it forever well, let's not say forever because our brain is plastic enough, you know, to, to adapt even later on, but that's difficult.